What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming with my special guest, Durf the Cat. We're back again to do another. This time we're actually gonna do six through 12 in my top Nintendo 64 games. Say hello, Durf. I know you look so happy. Here you go. Let's see if you'll said my, no. He's gonna prowl around, so you'll see him again. Anyway, let's jump right in. This time I'm actually gonna start with my honorable mentions first. He was the help of the video. Doesn't like to talk too much, but that's okay. So, you guys really wanted to see this. So previously, I did one through five for Nintendo 64. We started this whole entire series with Super Nintendo. Then we did Nintendo 64. Then I went and did GameCube. And then after GameCube, we did, what was it? PlayStation 4, I think? And then we did Wii. And now here we are with 6 through 12 for the Nintendo 64 before we finish this off with Xbox One. And if you guys want to, I can also do 6 through 12 on the Super Nintendo. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Anyway, enough prattling, enough of an intro. Let's jump right in. Three honorable mentions for you. These three games didn't quite make the cut. So first one, Gauntlet Legends. This game probably will eventually make my top 10 or at least top 12 list, but I just haven't had enough time with it. I could definitely say if you enjoyed the arcade version of this or if you've ever played this, I highly recommend it. Only problem is that the cart's kind of gone up in price. I think it's up to like $45 now. I'm not totally sure. So that's honorable mention number one. Honorable mention number two. Thankfully, this card's still pretty cheap, and I highly recommend this one if you ever just want a game just to sit back and relax and kind of mellow out. Virtual Pool. This game was actually a very pleasant surprise. My buddy got it, and he's like, hey, you should check this game out. So I said, okay, fine. I ended up getting him a copy, and then I was like, you know what? He was talking about it. He said he enjoyed it, so I went out and got myself a copy. Fun game. You can honestly just sit there and face yourself, or you could play nine ball. You could play competitive, but if you just want to sit, mellow out, enjoy the music. A lot of fun. I have featured this before on the channel, so got a little bit of yellowing there on the cartridge, but that's okay. Like I was saying, I have featured this before on the channel. If you guys want to see it again, I'll be happy to do that. Last honorable mention, this one doesn't need any introduction. Featured tons of times on the channel. Easily a top 15 must own for the Nintendo 64. If you have a Nintendo 64, get this game. I know shout out to 123 Gamer Man who actually just sent Wave Race 64 to Mocking Jay as part of the Secret Santa. So thank you, 123 Gamer Man. I'm glad Mocking Jay has this in the collection. If you didn't send it to him, I was actually gonna eventually send him this game. So now, honorable mentions out of the way. Let's jump right into the list. At number 12, and I'm probably one of the only people that has this game even in my top 15, even top 20 list, but I don't care. It's stupid, it's cheeky. I love the humor. Clay Fighter is 63 and a third. This is not Sculptor's Cut. Yeah, I wish I had that copy. This is Sculptor's Cut, this is not. There's the back. But I like the cheeky sense of humor in this game. I love just how crude it is. It's too bad, whatever happened to Interplay anyway? Like, I have no idea what happened to them. They fell off the face of the earth. Anyway, let's continue right on. Number 11. Also, probably a top 10, top 15 must-own game for the Nintendo 64. At least top 15, arguably top 10, depending. Diddy Kong Racing! I don't have nearly as much nostalgia for this game. A lot of people would probably have this one over. Yeah, the back of my cartridge is a little rough. There's the side. Thankfully, I got this a long while ago when it was still relatively cheap. I'm sure it's gone up a price now but must play game best single player racing game and then nintendo 64 hands down without a doubt number 10 moving right along another game that doesn't need any introduction super mario 64 oh that i play this game so much in middle school so so much i never did get all 120 stars so if you did kudos to you comment below did you get them all i never could that stupid clock level i just could never beat it I was missing like two in that level. Where are we at now? Number nine? Right. Number nine. Super Smash Brothers, the original. 
I do like Melee better, but this one's quite a lot of fun. Still enjoy this game where it all began. I haven't played the newest one, the Wii one, but I like this version. So still fun to pop in and play. And we were just talking about Diddy Kong Racing. Here's the other must-have racing game of what I call the trifecta, which is Wave Race, Diddy Kong, and da da da. Shout out to Mockingjay YT. He'll be happy. Mario Kart 64. Somehow I did not own this game as a kid. What the heck is wrong with me? Like, oh my god. Why? I did play it a ton as a friend's house though, so. Sorry. And then I kind of skipped over this one, went to uh, the GameCube version. Hello, my little deaf kitty. How are you? He keeps trying to pet my hand. Anyway, Mario Kart 64. Don't need to say much more about this one. Let's continue right along. Where are we at now? Two more left. Number seven. I talked about this in my previous honorable mentions. The Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. This is the first one. There's also a sequel, which is called Goemon's Great Adventure. I haven't played this one, but I really like this. This was a follow-up 3D 64-bit game to the Legend of the Mystical Ninja, which the first version of that is on the Super Nintendo. One of these days, I really need to feature some gameplay of that for you guys. And then this game, and then the original Legend of the Mystical Ninja had three Super Famicom ports, I think. I'm, I'm not 100%. It's two or, it's two or three. I, I forget off the top of my head. But then they made this. And then they also made Goemon's Grandest Adventure, and unfortunately, hasn't been anything new recently. So, amazing game. It's a bit expensive, but it's well worth it. Great cheeky humor. One well worth playing today. And he wants to help me show off number one. I think a lot of people won't be surprised by, well, excuse me, number six. Whoop. Okay, sorry. Never mind, he wants down. There we go. Majora's Mask. Do I need to say more? My copy's looking a little bit rough. The cartridge is in really bad shape, but hey, you know what? I don't care. I have it. It's in the collection. So, that's it. Comment below what you guys want to see for next week. And also, I know, special shout out to the... Oh my god. For, please, for, please forgive me, the... Uh, we recently had a very famous drummer, Foo Fighters, that's who it was. I was just trying to think. Special shout out to the drummer of the Foo Fighters. Unfortunately, he died of a heroin overdose. I've thought about maybe making a video just talking about in addiction in general. So if you guys would like a new life lessons with the cheese where I tell, go over, you know, addiction and stuff like that. Because as you, some of you may or may not know, I am in recovery. Comment below. Let me know. I thought maybe that might be something totally separate gaming related, but put that in, in here at the end. So thanks for watching for myself and my partner, Durf the Cat. Till next time.